Okay, welcome. We are gonna talk about risk management strategy with prop firms or funded accounts, and how to never actually ever blow an account. And you guys are gonna hate me for this. You guys will because guys, some of you guys think it's gonna take you three days to pass, but this is going to actually take you two to three months to pass a challenge. And why am I saying that? Well, because we're gonna go so conservatively that you will never take a three day and blow the account. You're gonna take a three months and always pass the accounts, okay? So bear with me. If you wanna be a profitable trader, you gotta be conservative with it. You can't be some high risk, high reward because we are in it for the long run. We're not here for sprints. Remember, we are marathons. We are not sprints, or trading is. But let's go over the scenario, okay? Very basic and simple scenario that you can do. You want to test 100 trades, back test 100 trades. Out of the 100 trades, you're gonna find a lot of things, but the one thing we're gonna look for is the max number of losses in a row, okay? Max number of losses in a row. Why do we wanna find this? Well, this is gonna give us a buffer of drawdown to see what do we do. We're gonna keep it really, really simple. So once you find this after 100 trades, max number of losses in a row, that's very straightforward. If you have four losses in a row, that's your max. Maybe sometimes you have four, five, and then you have an eight. Do the maximum number. You're gonna have multiple losing streaks, but do the maximum because that's where we're gonna base off everything. So your max number of losses, what is it? We'll call it 10 for this video because you wanna keep it real simple, but you get the max number of losses. We're gonna call it 10. Let's go with that thing, okay? We're gonna go with that, right? Let's say you have a $100,000 account, funded account, profit from account, and you risk the basic 1% that everyone tells you to. So if you lose, with that max drawdown, you're gonna do minus 10%. And with prop firms, we've dropped it up here, there's a 5% daily loss limit and usually an 8% max. So you would have blown this account, okay? You would have blown that account if you did it based on your max drawdown. Now the numbers might be different for smaller drawdowns. You can do this and calculate it by yourself, but let's go over this example again. So let's say instead of that, we use my scenario, is we take our maximum drawdown and we cut it in half, or we double it, but we cut the risk in half. So if we understand that risking 10% per trade is gonna equal a blown account, BA, we we'll just call it blown account, then all we have to do, or sorry, if we understand that risking 1% and that's minus 10% per trade, because we have minus 1% 10 times, that's gonna equal 10% minus 10% and that equals a blown account. All we're gonna do is drop the risk and then gives you a double number. What does that mean? Well, if we drop the risk to 0.5%, right? We have 0.5% times 10 is going to give us 5%. And then what's a blown account? Not 5%, it's maybe 8%. So right there, we're gonna say, a still, we'll just, we'll just write account, active account, AA, active account. That means your account is still running because we dropped the risk half. Now, let me give you a very, very clear, clear scenario, just to really ingrain in your head another time. $100,000 account. There's two people, okay? We have trader A, and then we have trader B. Trader A has 0.5% risk, and trader B has 1% risk. They both have a minus 10% drawdown, and they're going to hit it while they trade, the prop firms, okay? So, at 0.5% risk, after that, after this, this minus 10% at 0.5 becomes only minus 5% drawdown out of 8% drawdown. They're still active and they're still winning. Well, this guy is a minus 10% drawdown out of 8% drawdown. So this dude is eliminated while well, this dude is the winner. I tried to draw a check mark. That dude is the winner. So what does this mean for this dude? Well, he just risked too much percentages. So simply all you need to do is drop your risk and be conservative. But the reason people become trader B, this dude right here, is because they wanna shorten the process and then be the sprint. They want to have the ability to pass in so little time, but these trader A, the conservative traders, are the ones who win in the long run. They're the ones who actually come out here and boom, and they bang the market and they win. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Again, like for the final time, you're gonna do this, okay? Find your max drawdown. Find your maximum drawdown, okay? Now, if that gives you a buffer of 10 trades, 
all you want to do is make sure that you can double your max drawdown, double your max drawdown in a prop firm. So without blowing the account. So if my max drawdown is 10 trades, okay, make sure on a prop firm, PF, prop firm, I have a 20 trade buffer, whatever the risk is. So again, for that scenario, it would be going from 1% to 0 0.5. So it goes from minus 10 to minus 20 in order to blow the account. So you wanna, again, max drawdown, figure it out. If it's 10 trades, you wanna have a double buffer, meaning whatever you have as your max drawdown, you wanna be able to double it on your prop firm without blowing the account. That means you're risking maybe 0.5 or maybe 0.25 and maybe even less. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a uh, position size calculator for futures and you guys can do the same for Forex. I will drop it below for you because I found it online and I will drop it below for you so you guys can use it as well. But that will help you guys out. But essentially that's it. It's a very, very conservative and low risk strategy. But this is why I passed. And guys, it took me three, four months to pass, but I still get consistent payouts after that. So this is what you're sacrificing. You're sacrificing the risk upfront, the upfront risk, we're gonna go like this. You're sacrificing the upfront risk, but you're also sacrificing that potential to blow. So you're sacrificing risk and potential to blow for a conservative and then long run, lower profit, but larger and longer, again, longer account. So over the long run, remember, this trader, trader, we'll call him trader B, because that was the scenario, is going to lose. Trader A, down here, focus on this, right here, it's going to win. Simple as that. You know, I, I keep yapping on these videos, but that is, that is concerning. I gave you like four or five scenarios to try to explain it to you and how that works. And that should be essentially what you need to do. Maybe this makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, just comment down below and I'm going to link you that Google spreadsheet so you can do it yourself. And yeah, guys, so that's essentially it. Pretty much it. That's the video. I mean, this is how I do it. Guys, right now, it's, it's not even NFP, but it's the day after NFP. It's a Monday after NFP. And market's very volatile. It's not looking good. I'm not, I'm not trading. Even though there's a setup, I have the ability to say no to setups. And that setup actually took a loss. So I didn't take it, so I say 1%. So uh, advice of the day is sitting on your hands is making you money. If you don't take a trade, and you, there's no trades that fit your trade plan. You're saving money, you're not losing money. So a simple thing that I should just talk about because it happened today, but this is the risk management plan. So for instance, on my futures account, um, my max drawdown on my trading is 6%, but I risk, um, I risk, I think it's like seven to 8% of the $2,500 drawdown. So in order to blow the account, I need to lose 12 trades, which is double like you just talked about. So it's gonna take me longer to pass, but it's more conservative and I don't lose. So. I get all the prop firms down, we get it all done. And yeah, guys, that's essentially the video. I'm trying to think um, anything else you guys need, you guys comment down below, video every single day. We're gonna bang them out for you. And um, yeah, guys, if you need help, comment.